My name is Michael Christensen, and I am here to present my senior pro project for the year 2014. Today I'm going to talk about my school experiences, about me, about myself, and my plans after high school for, for the future. I'm also going to talk about life skills, uh, the sports I played in high school, and the program called Work Based Learning, which I'm about to explain to you in a minute. And here's some of the life skills I have done. Well, the one of the things we learned about is anger management. We learned how to how to control anger and not uh, not to get angry at bad times because if you don't learn how to control your anger. You can uh, never be a good person in life, but we learn how to like do that, have solutions like this, for example. You squeeze like a stress ball and have certain types of angry moods. For this guy squeezing the most stressful one ever. So, <laughs> so I can't describe me in the past, but I've, I've learned how to control it in a different way. The second one I've learned is budget. I've learned uh, like how to budget, um, Different uh, type of types of things like food, water, electricity, and different types of stuff. Another class, not just life skills, is for life because we learn how to like use it for an apartment. Yeah, you know, when you're on your own and stuff like that. Is this me? The third thing we learn is job application. We learn how to apply for a job and what to fill on there because if uh, it helps you get a get a job is and. In, in, and print clearly so the employer can know what you're reading. And that really helps for everybody uh, and those who are applying. The fourth thing to learn is communication skills. We, this is a very, very important um, life skill I've learned uh, for, for life. Uh, I've learned how to make good eye contact, use perfect body language, and look straight at a person in the eye uh, at all times, and never look to the side at all, at all times, and be interested as if you're listening. Someone else. It's applied to me because um, I've had um, a disability. I've had a disability, which is autism, which I'll be explaining in, in another minute. But this will be uh, this will be a big part of my life and for everybody else's. And here are some of the sports I play. The first one is cross country. I've done this for six years, including elementary school, middle school, and high school. Um, it's a very important part to me because it keeps my strength um, up. It gave, it gave me strength and confidence. And our coach, Coach Dressel, he has taught us uh, to le to think mentally, not uh, not physically. Because if you think mentally, you'll do better, much better physically. It's for life and not just for sports. Uh, my PR is uh, my for a three mile is eighteen oh one, which is the best I've ever done because of, of, of the past and everything. And I've done this that my favorite part is like dedication because I like to be dedicated to the team, support the team at all times when the team was not, because I like those type of guys who just like who wants to get better even if uh, you don't feel comfortable, which is part of what I've done and I've overcome that laziness. The second one I've done is track. I also done this for six years as well. And we're, we're all we're like family because we support each other in everything we do, in school, sports, and even life. Because you like you support each other, you help each other during events, um, during like work or whatever, whatever possible. My events I've done and the the best I like is the, the 1600 meter and the 3200 meter or the mile and two mile. It's the best events I like to do for me personally because it's my fit. It's my fitness of level, level of fitness, and it's great for me. I like to support my team because, you know, as I explained earlier, supporting is great for everybody, not just track runners, but for all people. And here's what I've done in work-based learning. The first one is, uh, the first one I went to was Crossover Church. Well, before I explain uh, what I did at Crossover Church, Workplace Learning is a program that helps students 
um, know how to like know how to do a job, like sign up, like do interviews, and do amazing so do amazing things. You learn new things in life, and what to do, uh, what to do for the future. And well, the first one I did is crossover church. I worked as a job as a man, as a janitor at, or a maintenance worker, and my boss was Mr. Mike Cabral. He's an awesome guy. Um, he goes to my church, and he has, he has helped me learn to multitask and not um, just to do one thing at a time all the time. And I've also learned to do it on my own without him going going to him all the time. And that's and that's how I became better at being who I am. The second store I picked place I worked at is Hobby Lobby. I worked at Hobby Lobby because um, it was great for me because I could learn. I learn I get to work with actual workers from the place. It's amazing. And it gives me a challenge in what to do there. I also learned to multitask and do go a fast certain pace without slowing down and do what the boss asks. And not ask too many questions too often, but and I've and I feel like this has been the best experience for me. The cursor I'm currently working at right now is Yost. This uh, has been an important part because it learns. I've also learned like to do it on a job and what to do uh, on it because the workers uh, don't really care as long as you need to do, do it on your own. You need to do your absolute best, very, very best, regardless of what they say or what about what happens to you. And like if you're slightly sick, it doesn't matter. Just do the job and then you'll get a good pay, no matter what, or a good grade. And here's, um, and here's what I, and I'm going to tell you about my, my interests, my autism, my faith, and my volunteer work I've done in the past. And here are my interests. The, one, the first one I like is reading. Uh, I love to read. I've loved reading since I was like two, uh, two three years old. This has been amazing for me. This has been awesome because I love to like be, uh, be in books, like learn the story, and just have fun with it. Just be, just be like a little kid again, and once more. This is that describes me how much I like reading. The second one I like is chess because I love being strategic and very, very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> and this, and this um, sport has helped me. Uh, well, this game has helped me just like plan moves and just have, just have fun, and no, no matter what happens in life. So that's one. Of the, that's my top favorite game. These are uh, two of my favorite movies. The first one is Captain America: The First Avenger. This one has impacted my life the most because it did, in the part of the movie it teaches you to be a good man at heart, not the outward appearance. Because if you be a good man on the inside and strive to become good, there uh, great results will happen in the future, later future. If you do um, bad things, like bad things now, and want it like now, 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 this is not going to turn out good for you at all. And. And the second one I like is The Hobbit because it teaches you to be adventurous and have courage and just be and just be open and take and take risks when needed. And those are my favorite movies, and that's I like them. And here I'm going to explain about autism. I've had autism since I was two years old. I was diagnosed with it at that age. Um, it has affected my learning disability. Uh, for life, uh, but I've learned to overcome it and over years of training and tutors. This has been an awesome experience for me. Um, and, I, and here's some of the pictures that described me um, as well uh, right, right now and in the past. The first one is this, like about autism. I believe it means like ask questions, understand, tell a friend, include, show your support, and make a difference. That helps me because I like to be that way. It's just, uh, I like to help. I like to help others and just be there. Just be there for them if they need it. And I like to be that way because it's uh, how I am. And it's how everybody should be. Um, the second one is autism because, well, I I believe it's a non -pro it's not a processing error. It's a different operating system. I believe um, I believe it's not a processing error because people may look at it a different way because. If they don't like for who it is, they have a serious problem with life and they, they'll just ignore students. I believe it's just the way it is. I have it forever until the day I die. So there's nothing uh, that can be changed about it. And I've, I've grown a lot of 
stuff into the man into the man I am now. The third one is uh, which is kind of like a personal one. It's a fun one, but this is a quote by Dr. Seuss. Today you are you that is truer than true. There is no one alive who is you in you. This one um, this is explains me as a as a great happy person, and who and who I am is just being uh, just being joyful to others, just being kind, and if they don't feel like it, it's just, that's just how I am. And the, and the final one describes me uh, the most of all. I'm strong, kind and smart, hilarious, <laughs> capable, sweet, lovable, amazing, and enough. <laughs> and I just, I just love being that because that's just, that, that's just the character um, trait I am, and I always will be that way. And, Uh, and here's my faith. Um, I have been a Christian believer for uh, for about eight years now, or uh, possibly more. Um, this has been an awesome experience because I've learned to grow in Christ uh, since then. I've become I've been to to see more great things happening out of that. And and here's and the church I go to crosses and here's the church I go to. It's Crossover Church. I've been going there for eight years with my family. This has been an awesome growing experience for me. I've learned to become stronger in my faith and just, um, just be a great example to others all around the community and around the world. And currently, uh, I'm going on a mission trip to Costa Rica to help support kids uh, down there at Robialto. And here's the volunteer work I've done. The first one is the Limited, the limited City drive through I've helped um, direct traffic at, at the Mountainside Middle School and at your Crossover Church. This is um, like direct traffic, where to go and everything, with lights. This has been awesome because it explains the true story of Jesus Christ and how he was born in the little town of Bethlehem and how he is risen today and is soon coming again. And this is a picture of it, what it, what it was like or, or like in 2,000 years ago. and. This has been an awesome experience because I felt like I was called to do that, just to help and serve in the way, in the way any way I can. And I've done also helped out with two movie productions. The first one is Nice. It's a small community program, a small program like a movie production that helps produce movies, uh, short films like The Farmer and the Lawyer and the Civil War Reenactment. Uh, there was Civil War uh, part. I've been uh, a messenger boy, just like. Helping others, um, like deliver messages. This has been an awesome experience. Um, get to help out with the crew and set. And the second one I've worked at is Hologram Productions. It's a it was a co movie company that helped out and worked together with that the same movie company and also did short films as well. And for the Farmer and the Lawyer, I've also did like little volunteer work to like clear stuff out, set up fences, and do whatever they need. And here are my plans after high school. I plan to be a stocker receiver at Hobby Lobby because I love stocker uh, stock shelves, and no matter and I just like to uh, make it look good for the customers as if oh, as if they want to buy it. And I also want to be a receiver or a receiver because I like to like open boxes, set stuff set stuff aside for the person to reorganize it. If not there, I can do it, to do my best I can. And if that doesn't work, my backup plan is yokes because. That's a great, um, a great disciplining learning experience. I get to be disciplined um, in the training I do, and it's just uh, growing uh, work skills in the work life. Uh, right now, I'm currently working with DVR. Uh, it stands for Divisional Vocational Rehab, and well, for jobs because there are programs to help students you know, which get jobs with the, with, the, with disabilities. It's just been awesome for me. Uh, it helps find a job that's that <coughs> succeeds to your like ability and, and or disability. This is the need for me and I and I'm pleased to work with them because they're the best program I've ever had. <coughs> and here is my senior inventory and which I have done. And here you pass this round. And some of the highlights I have done is like register to vote. Uh, I registered to vote on my eight, my 18th birthday because uh, I wanted to like to vote, and it's part and partly because it was required by law uh, to do it. And just 
and just, and just help out, um, vote for the right people to help make our country better in our, in our county. I've also signed up for the draft, uh, for the military draft, for all eight, men 18, of age 18. It was very important, and um, uh, it, just helped, it just helped me, even though I was kind of I was kind of do it, forced to do it, but I wanted to do it at the same time, just curiosity, even though I can't do it because of my disability, autism, since they won't allow it. And, and the third thing, uh, was my highlight, is the STA mobility uh, training. Um, it's a bus program, it's where help, it transports uh, student, uh, like students, uh, old adults, and like to places where we want to go, as you probably already know. Um, it's helped me get to uh, get to pace um, to program where it helps students with disabilities, but um, I have decided um, I've decided that DVR was the better option for me, so I have decided not to do it uh, for my uh, for a good reason. And I believe DVR can help me succeed in that. Uh, the fourth thing is like mission trip at church, which I'm already explaining. Going to Costa Rica to help support because Robiato, uh, the Children Foundation, is connected with our church up here. So it's just going to be a great experience learning, seeing a new country, a new country, new people. This is good, and the kid. I heard the kids are just awesome, and this is going to be the greatest experience of my life. Thank you. Do you have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, Michael. Do you have your passport? Um, no, I no, I don't. Um, but I will be using it soon. So you'll be get, you'll be getting it soon. Have you applied for it? Yes. Okay. Have you done other mission work, Michael, with the church? And and to me, the light nativity is is you know a service and, and a mission of, from your heart. But um, have you traveled away from home with the church before? No, this is my first one. Pretty exciting. I've, I've heard um, from uh, veterans who've gone to Costa Rica. It, it is awesome. It is kind of unbelievable. Yeah, it is. I love it. <laughs> So, I was just I'm curious about your um, um, your work at the church. Are you involved with your youth group there? Yes, I am. Have you made some good friends? Oh yes, um, they've helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, they helped me grow in Christ. They just uh, helped me support and just be who I am. Um, mm -hmm. Few are left, um, uh, still helping me out uh, throughout uh, youth group, and then we go into the college group. Michael, you said your um, post high school plan was to go to, to work at Hobby Lobby. Have you Job or have they hired you? Um, I applied there, um, but I received no word from the VIP because uh, there's a, some type of stuff going on with it. Now it's over with. Mm -hmm. um, but right, now, I, I called them earlier, but there was uh, they weren't there. None of the managers were there, so I'll be. I plan to try again soon. Okay, and did you have your backup application into Yokes? <laughs> um, not yet. Okay, not yet. but that's something you're thinking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when is your mission? Is it right after uh, school now? It's June 21st, and it ends July 1st. Wow. That's nice. I applaud you for being such an avid reader. Thanks. And I love that, that um, how you relate to Captain America and his value structures. A lot of that is, to me, reminds me of the parables of the Lord. Um, you know, the good that we strive to have in our lives and share with others. So, Michael, what would you like for the panelists to see up here on the table? Shall we get up and take a look? All right, perfect. Okay. And your time was perfect, so I've already stopped your time. So, this is okay. so you're good. You're perfect. You're right at 15 minutes. <laughs> so, what would, would you like to tell us about any of this up here? What are we looking at? Uh, uh, sure, I'll, I'll have them ask questions. So. Okay, all right. So, she said, what are we looking at? Okay. okay. This is quite a collection. So where did you go to elementary school? I went to Meadow Ridge, um, across the highway. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where's Mountain Mine? Is that just the Mountain Middle School? It's, it's Mountainside. It's uh, Culver. Oh, Culver. They're, they're oh, the Mountain. Oh, they're the Mountain oh, Lions. Mountain okay. Lions. Right. Can mm -hmm. you tell us about this? Oh, oh my back. Oh, if this is the plaque I got, it's for people, uh, for seniors who has been in. Like a varsity letter award, it's been proving every year by a certain amount of time and everything. It's just I'm one of those one of those people. It was a huge honor and a huge privilege to have one of these. Oh, it's very, very nice. nice. Yeah. It's beautiful that they put your picture on there. Mm -hmm. 
And then tell us about these certificates. Yeah, these uh, these certificates I've had in the past are honor roll. Um, I've been been recognized a lot in the past, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year as well. And I've also a senior nights award. I've also I received um, the seven semesters award for uh, for honor roll 3.5 GPA and above. Oh, that's wow. right. Very Excellent. nice. Thanks. It was huge. It was like amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. That is huge. Tell us about your letter and your pins here. Yeah, um, on my my sophomore year, I received this letterman of this letterman M um, because I I bought my letter for the first time. And as you can see, these are the pass. This mm -hmm. is freshman, sophomore year, junior, and senior year. Okay. Um, and these are the pins that go along with it, one from each year. And that's uh, and that's what I've done. It's a great achievement, all of it. Thanks. Thank you. And um, these are the uniforms I've, I've worn in the past. Um, this is from sophomore year. It's from freshman year. And it's one of the same. Well, sophomore, junior, and senior year. This is from my freshman year. Okay. It's the original uniform. Okay. Um, this shirt. Well, the, yeah, that mm -hmm. yeah, this one has been a very special mm -hmm. one. It's a program called Let's Climb Mountain. It's 34.3 miles. We were split into relays, okay. like on teams. Mm -hmm. I was the second to last leg. I ran three miles uphill all the way. Oh! It was I, because of my and, and <coughs> I slowed down that hill. I was the first. I got my team into uh, second place by doing that. It was, wow. it was amazing. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. I, I beat everybody on that part from what I've seen. Yeah. This has been amazing. That's amazing. Are these yours, Michael? Are they, yeah. Oh, they, okay. So you could you when you, you buy them from the school or? Um, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a past shirt I've had. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, this is like most kind of cross country. This is the one of the original ones I've had uh, since I was a freshman. And if yeah, you want to see the back, yeah, this is the back I side. This is my uh, this is the seniors uh, for my freshman year. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. Wow. Michael, I think you mentioned it, but who's your cross country coach? Right, currently, Coach Dressel. Oh. Alex Dressel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Coach, she, uh, Mr. Deese was the cross country coach for my freshman year, and then retired after that. Is are any of the Deets boys in here with you? Yes, Deets? that is Eli. Oh, okay, that's Eli. Oh, okay. And where are you in here? Where no. are you? Oh, you're not in there. Okay. Oh, the bar, the oh that was the varsity that oh, year. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, you just started up. So. Well, that was a very positive experience for you to be on the cross country team. It team. was. It was not easy. It was yeah. hard. No. Oh. It was tough. Yeah. Coach, uh, Coach Deese was not an easy coach. I had. I was slow that year, but I uh, uh, slowly I've increased on um, throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And and Coach Russell came into my sophomore year. He's, he's more like a quality coach. He understands us. He knows us. And we got to a great start, uh, off to a great start in the, uh, this cross country season and in the past. I bet you're going to miss it, but like you said, it's a lifelong skill and you're going to continue to do it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was built for it and I don't know it. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Nice. Well, thank you very much.